I came here when I was 24, with one bag as a fresh grad. That was in 2009. It's adoption Fridays, and then there are cats, dogs, or any other types of animals or pets which you can adopt. Help. Wir schauen uns das Auto zusammen an. So guys, how's your government? Our government actually supports entrepreneurs. And I tell you, today was Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid was there, Sheikh Saif bin Zayed, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, and even Sheikh Ahmed bin Said. Everyone pretty much was there at the World Government Summit. And what they did is actually they honored entrepreneurs and they showed the country as a land of opportunity, which is great. And this is why we're here, this is why we're building, this is why we're proud to be in the UAE. And just check it out for yourself, it was actually really nice. بحضور صاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد المكتوم نائب رئيس الدوله رئيس مجلس الوزراء حاكم دبي رعاه الله واسمو الشيخ حمدان بن محمد بن راشد المكتوم ولي عهد دبي واسمو الشيخ مكتوم بن محمد بن راشد المكتوم نائب حاكم دبي اسمو الشيخ سيف بن زايد ال نيان نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير الداخليه كل واحد منا يا اخوان اذا راى فرصه يجب أن يبادر في تطويرها وتنفيذها في البيت في العمل وفي مرؤوسك يجب أنك تساهم في إيصال الإيجابية إلى الهدف المراد اسمحوا لي نشوف بعض الفيديوهات I came here when I was 24, with one bag as a fresh grad. That was in 2009. I looked at it as an opportunity, as a land of opportunity, especially the UAE. It's learning from other parts of the world and skips the mistakes. So what I really liked about this area is that I can work closely with the same mentality the government has, just to think modern, think technology and implementation of technology into the people's lives. So the UAE for me is a startup very similar to our mindset in our companies. It's very fast, it's technology driven, and it's learning from other markets in the world. So guys, today I'm gonna to tell you about something where you can also help. So there's a lot of animals on the roads which basically don't have anyone or have been just left there. So there are people who tell you where these animals are so you can take them and bring them to a clinic and help them get um, healed again. Or you can actually go to one of those so-called adoption Fridays and then there are cats, dogs, or any other types of animals or pets which you can adopt. Help. So. It doesn't take a lot of money, it just takes a heart. I skipped in Dubai. Gruppen, die Tieren helfen. Und zwar, wenn man hier eine Straßenkatze oder einen Straßenhund findet, der verletzt ist oder Hilfe braucht, dann geben wir die Location durch. Und man kann dann, wenn man Zeit hat, dann diese Katze finden und dann helfen. Das heißt also, wir nehmen die jetzt und bringen die zum Tierarzt, damit sie Hilfe bekommt. Weil sie hat hier eine Entzündung, die hat, glaube ich, einen Kampf gehabt oder hat sich irgendwie verletzt. Hoffen dann, dass es ihr danach besser geht. Good afternoon. We found this cat and I think she has an inflammation on her neck. Is there a way we can help her quickly? Yes, it's a way we can help her. Hey, so we found this cat on the street and we would like to help her because she has information on her neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, just... is the doctor here? The doctor is, uh, is here, sir. I would just go. Perfect. Bobby. 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 
No, he's no. tired. He's tired. Don't, don't wake him up. It's fine. Yeah. He's tired. A lot of people, and his eyes is very red. So okay, okay, honey. Thank you. What happened? I'm so happy. The kids coming very happy. There you go. How does it work with adoption here? Basically, our work is to rescue and taking care of the poor animals mm -hmm. which need help in the street mm -hmm. or sometimes it's dumped as well. Oh, wow. So we're looking for uh, great families and good future for the pets, which okay. is helping, uh, which we helping to be adopted. And uh, we rescue oh, not only cats and kittens, we rescue dogs as well. Well, in the beginning I saw a beautiful black cat, she was mm -hmm. pregnant and oh, wow. I feel it was stormy and it was, it was raining so I saved her and she delivered four kittens. And suddenly people are like uh, saying, I have kittens, can you have uh, your mom kitten to nurse my cat? So I was like, yes, sure, no problem. And I so you ended up having like 10 cats? 10 cats, oh, exactly. Wow. So yes, and uh, starting from that I start learning how mm -hmm. to take care of kittens, then from that I start doing all the rescue. medical and mm -hmm. rescue. Wow, and, uh, thank you. No Great story. <laughs> Trying to save the lives here, you know? At thank least you. whatever we can do. That is great. You know? thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Appreciate it. Today we have another episode of Startup Hero. So Startup Hero is a chance for upcoming entrepreneurs to get feedback, mentorship and the potential investment for their business ideas or running businesses. So yeah, we have a couple of candidates lined up and they're gonna be warmed up by... I'm like Ryan Seacrest here today. DJ Bliss, he is the self-proclaimed Ryan Seacrest of Dubai. So you guys got this thing called Startup Hero. They got five people. Uh, narrowed down from 18,000 people who've registered to come here today to present their idea to get some kind of support. So, the show's about to get started real soon. Uh, let's get this party started. We're about to meet the first contestant coming through the door right now. I don't know if he's as nervous as I am because this is the first guy I'm talking to, but here he comes. Here, yeah, how are you? You're the first guy who's gonna be presenting the idea. Oh, thank you. you Thanks for having me. Are you nervous? Oh, just a little bit. Moin Moin. My name is Pierre. This guy was talking in German and we didn't understand a lot, but they had some plants. So what was he what was he talking about? So he had these I mean the plants were regular plants, but he had these vases which have some kind of patented filtration system. So it actually enhances the power of the plant. He and he says that you put one of these plants in your room, like it just helps you sleep. That plant over there or an aloe vera plant. He said just one plant per person and then sleep like a baby. What's going on? This is uh, something very special, especially for Dubai. Oh my gosh. This is, um, you know us too well. 24 karat, 24 karat gold sugar. This is the sugar, sugar cubes. cubes that you put in your tea? Exactly. Nice. So it's um, the exquisite way of having a sweetening your coffee, you're sweetening your tea. Nice. And uh, position yourself here in Dubai. And, uh, I see gold everywhere. It's on my chocolate, it's on my burger, it's everywhere. Is it? Yeah. Obvious, it's obviously safe to eat it. Is there any like nutritional yeah. value to eating gold? What's the next step for these guys? So actually for the last one who was creating sugar cubes made out of gold, 24 karat gold, it was a good gifting idea. Yeah. So I ordered a hundred packages uh, for now as a test and I give it to our best customers and yeah. see their reaction, they see it might improve the retention rate. Yeah. Um, that's the next step, so it's actually a test run. And so you try and support them in different ways. Some people want social media support, some people you might just buy their products, some people you give advice, and other people you might fund as well, right? So yeah, so we have different. So one is the mentorship and, and sparing just to help them with uh, their uh, feedback they, they require. The other ones is just ordering their products and mm -hmm. just 
see, which gives them revenue. And the third one is just uh, investing, right? So it really depends on what they're looking for. So some of them don't need investments, others do. Yeah. Some just need a network to social media influencers or retailers. So we help them in any way we can. Right. That's pretty good. So what happens next? Is there another way people can register? And so you go to startuphero.com, yeah. right? And that's basically where it all starts. And then we take it from there. There's a lot of people applying, so yeah. bear with us. So we actually do one by one as, as much as we can. And we're coming to the big screen, all right? Keep your eyes locked on our TV. It's coming soon. Aus der Wüste gewachsen in den Himmel gebaut. Tradition trifft auf moderne und extremen Reichtum. Auch der deutsche Unternehmer Saigin Yalchin machte hier seine erste Million. Als Investor sucht er nun die Jahrhundertidee. Das ist so verrückt. Die wollen hier immer übers Limit, immer höher und immer weiter. Der Bremer mit türkischen Wurzeln hat es weit gebracht. 2009 kam er nur mit einem Rucksack nach Dubai. Einer ihrer größten Stars ist Mohammed Beragdari, Spitzname Movlox. Morgen. Ich sehe mich nicht als Promi. Ich habe einfach viele Freunde online. Zeit für den Schnitt des heutigen Videos. Und vier Stunden verbringt Mo täglich mit Nachbearbeitung ein Fulltime-Job. Ich komme aus Bremen. Und äh, in Bremen äh, bin ich andere Sachen gewohnt gewesen. Wir schauen uns das Auto zusammen an. Nach 18 Stunden heute war es schon ein sehr erfolgreicher Tag. Man kann natürlich nicht von heute auf morgen ein Imperium aufbauen. Also es geht hier nicht ums Ziel, sondern um die Reise. <lacht> 